Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a fall wreath for a friend of mine. This is a custom wreath. And these are the supplies I'm using. She did send me a picture of something uh, similar. Obviously it's not going to be exactly the same as I don't know what the ingredients were for the wreath and the picture was but I'm gonna start by just you know giving it my best shot so I'm gonna start with the greenery I'm just gonna break those out into parts and I'm gonna start layering so once I have them fluffed exactly the way I want them I didn't have to fuss too much with this greenery I'm gonna dip it in my glue pot and I'm gonna put it into the grapevine at a slant I'm just going to go around the wreath and place them um, every so often throughout the grapevine because this is going to be a very full wreath and I have a lot to work with. I decided to stop here with just five bunches of the greenery. I do end up adding that last bunch in later, but I wanted to move on to my fall leaves. I picked up these fall leaves from Walmart and I'm, I'm not sure exactly how much I spent on them, but I'm gonna break all the fall leaves apart and I'm gonna go behind the greenery that I started. Again, I'm just gonna go in layers. And some of the stems were rather long, so I just trim them as I go. And as I trim them, I dip them in the glue pot, and I'm going to place them into the grapevine at a slant, and I'm going behind the greenery bundles. Anytime someone shows me a picture of something they want, I always do my best to make it exactly the way the picture is. However, that is pretty much next to impossible because I'm not sure where this picture came from. I don't know what they used. The only thing I can do is go off of the photo that I have and go around to the stores and see if I can find similar objects and similar florals. I did find these stems at Hobby Lobby and I'm just doing the same. I'm going to clip them off and I'm going to start in layers. I know this was not shown in the picture. However, I really liked these stems and I thought they would go perfect for her color scheme. So here again, I clip them all off. I'm going to dip them in my glue pot and I'm going to go now behind the fall leaves. So you can, you can kind of see the pattern now. So I started with the foliage, then the fall leaves. Now I'm going back behind with this floral stem. This is where you just have to keep going and trust the process. I feel like grapevines are very forgiving. Even if you get a floral piece in and you don't like how it's laying or how you put it in, you can immediately take it out. You will have to put more glue on as the glue is going to stay into the grapevine, but you can fix it right away. So in the picture, I noticed these picks. Well, I went to Hobby Lobby and lo and behold, 
there were the picks. So I did pick up a few of them. The stem is rather thick and long, so but I'm not going to break these apart. I'm just going to get my big clippers out. I'm going to get rid of that extra stem and I'm going to place these into the grapevine. I am going to fluff them up before I put them in though. I do put it up against the wreath as a as like a guide or a base um, just to see exactly where I want to put it and then I'm going to fluff it up, give it some glue and place it into the grapevine at a slant. So now I'm going to go in with my third pick. I'm going to fluff it up, get that pine cone where I want it, move the leaves around, play with that pumpkin, I'm going to, and I'm going to place it into the grapevine wreath at a slant. I am leaving a spot down at the bottom because there is going to be a bow. Once I have the third pick in, I do kind of step back and look at it, kind of fluff up some things, and I'm just going to reassess on if I need to add more or if I need to take something out, but I am leaving that spot right there for a bow. Now I'm going to go in with these uh, florals that I picked up from Hobby Lobby. These florals were actually in the photo. I know they were along with those picks. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Um, I did something a little bit different. I think they only put maybe one in their wreath but I went ahead and put I think four whenever I'm designing something I'm really not counting I am looking at it as a whole piece and I'm designing as I go I do kind of had have something in my head like how I want it to look sometimes that works out sometimes it does not um, but I did add extra of these flowers Once I put the flowers in, I did kind of bend them up because I didn't want them laying flat on the grapevine because I am putting them in at a slant. So I went ahead and popped the heads up a little bit. So I just bend them up a little bit because I want it to look like it's coming out of the wreath.
Now I'm going to go in with that extra greenery because I did find a bald spot. So I went ahead and filled that spot with this uh, leftover greenery that I had. Okay, now I'm gonna work on my bow. Uh, the burlap I did get from Hobby Lobby, the black and white striped, it's actually not black and white, it's more like black and tan. I purchased that from Walmart. Um, I'm gonna start off with, I need my zip tie and my pipe cleaner off to the side, ready to go. So I'm going to use my easy bow maker. I'm gonna start my tail. I'm gonna twist the burlap into the dowels and make my first loop, and that is at five inches. Once I start my first loop, I really don't measure the rest of them, but I do graduate them down. So the next loop is like a half inch shorter than the first five inch loop. And I'm just gonna keep going. Okay, now that I have three loops on each side of my Easy Bow Maker, I'm going to trim this off and get started with that black and tan ribbon. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to start with a tail. I just leave a tail and I'm going to twist the ribbon into those two dowels and start making my loops. Okay, folks, now is the moment of truth. I'm going to put that zip tie in. I'm going to make sure I have all my loops. And oh, did I put it in upside down? And now I have to flip over the zip tie. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start the zip tie. I am not going to crank it all the way down. I'm actually going to use that as a way to remove it from the easy bow maker. Once I remove my my bow from the Easy Bow Maker, I'm going to move the zip tie more towards the middle um, and I'm going to take the zip tie all the way to the back. Before I zip tie it all the way down, I am going to add a pipe cleaner and once I have that pipe cleaner in, I crank that zip tie all the way down. Once that pipe cleaner's in, I now have a way of attaching it to my wreath. Now I'm going to fluff my bow. They also call this breaking the bow. You don't have to do this right away. Um, I just kind of mess with it while it's in my hand, but I do fluff it up some more once I add it to my grapevine wreath. Okay folks, now I'm gonna trim up my tails. I do dovetail every tail. When you're dovetailing, all you do is fold the ribbon on, it, on itself and just cut at a slant. 
It just gives it a nice little detail finish. Now that I have the bow the way I want it, I'm going to add it to the grapevine. So I left a space to add my bow, and what I'm going to do here is I have, um, they're called weaving needles, and they have like eyes at the top, and they go through grapevines perfectly. So I'm just going to take the pipe cleaners and I'm going to wrap it through the eye of the weaving needle on both pipe cleaners and I'm going to pierce it through the grapevine. Again, I just go straight through the grapevine until I pierce it and make it through to the back of the grapevine. I just didn't want to wrap the pipe cleaner all the way around the grapevine because then you would see it. Um, this way, I just take it through both sides. It's not going to go anywhere. And once I get it in there, I'm going to twist tie it off and then I'm going to trim off the extra pipe cleaner. Once I have it twist tied off and I trim up the extra of the pipe cleaner, I'm going to poke what's left into the grapevine because I don't want anything sticking out and scratching her door. And this is where I'm going to mess with the bow just a little bit more because I want it perfect. I'm going to keep messing with it until I absolutely love the placement. Okay folks, this is my completed project. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.